So he inserted himself into that which he loved because he wanted to take on that word there is sarx when it says in John 1 the word became flesh that word there is sarx it actually means not human skin even though it is that we know that's true it actually is the word that means the deep depravity and debasement so that which is the most wicked of the wicked Jesus put himself in he wrapped himself in it so that he could shine the light of the glory of God through every bit of it and sanctify oh. so Adam and Eve uh, Adam breathed into he becomes a living soul okay he becomes a living soul there's not he's not a spirit he's a living soul because contrary to popular belief Jesus did not come because Adam fell Jesus came because he was a slain lamb before the foundation of the earth he was going to come no matter what. No matter what Adam did, yeah. Jesus was coming. That's scriptural. I mean, you can go look that up if you don't believe me. I'm not trying to argue. That's Bible. That's clear cut. Ephesians 1, you know, Revelation. Anyway, uh, so when Adam and Eve did their thing, so Eve, where'd she come from? Out of the side of Adam, right? So she that's, is also gold dust. She's also gold dust, and then a soul was placed into her. Actually, what took place there is that Adam was a hermaphrodite. <gasps> Yeah, he, he contained the male and female aspects within his being as a soul before Eve. And then God said, I'll give you the perfect helpmate, which is I'll give you yourself, a side of yourself that was once inside of your body. Now I'll make you two. That's why the two shall become one flesh, because they originally were one flesh. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs>